Hey guys, it's Noah here from iHollywood TV. Well, host and executive producer Tiffany Haddish delivers on her promise to find the funniest kids in America. I love Tiffany Haddish. She's one of my all-time favorite actresses and comedians. I mean, I am so happy she's getting a show and it's coming to ABC. And just to be promoting this, I'm like, and oh! So anyway, her new series, Kids Said the Darnest Things, it premieres October the 6th at 8, 7 central, of course, only on ABC. So we're gonna take you on set with Tiffany to get an inside look of her show before the debut. Let's watch! Kids Say the Darndest Things is a show about what do kids think? We're asking them their opinions on different stuff going on in the world about themselves. And usually kids say some pretty funny stuff. Their point of view on the world is very different than what an adult's point of view might be. Tiffany, you know, shows up, she's prepared. She's an executive producer on the show too. She is our partner in this. And you know, she wants to get to know the kids. And uh, when Tiffany Haddish walks in a room or walks on the set, she she owns it. Comedically, she's a genius. She's an icon. She's she's at the perfect place in terms of blowing up and, and, and popularity and intelligence and comedy all comes together. But the empathy part is what sort of made it work for us because you have to be able to look at a kid and understand. Put your hand up. Put your other hand on your hip and rock it, 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 rock it. She ready, she ready, she ready, she ready, we ready, we ready, we ready. We ready. This version of Kids Say the Darndest Things is different because Tiffany Haddish is the host. But, and you know, she ready. You know, we have the panels, which the panels are made up of one to three kids on stage. And, you know, just the traditional interview like you saw in uh, the original Kids Say. And then we have hidden camera um, segments where uh, kids will do anything. We did one where, you know, Tiffany's been awake for 23 hours, has to stay up for 24, and the kids, you know, doctor's orders, the kids have to keep her awake. And, you know, seeing that, seeing a bunch of four-year-olds try and keep Tiffany Haddish awake was absolutely a fun afternoon. Um, we have some performances on this show, and, and a little different than we did in the past, where we have some piano players and some singers and, um, you know, things like that. Uh, and our, with our show, kids have to talk. You know, it's not, we're not a talent show. You know, they've got to be a fun interview, and not only do they say the darndest things, but sometimes they do the darndest things. I have a lot of experience working with kids. Let's see, I've done bar mitzvahs, over 500 of them. I've worked at youth centers. Uh, I, I work with kids on television all the time in different projects. And what do I plan on bringing with that? A lot of fun. I don't know what it is about me. Sometimes I think I might be the kid whisperer. Maybe because I'm the oldest of five, I don't know. But if I ask them something, they usually give me what I want. We're looking for comedy. Um, there is a, an, a weird science to casting these kids and getting them ready and putting them on that goes all the way down to how you cast. So originally it's, we throw out a wide net and anybody that's interesting or funny or has a story that can talk. The biggest thing is that they need to be able to talk. But they can't all be the super precocious kid or they all look the same. You want a wide swath of what those kids talk about. Then we bring them back for a callback to see if they're just rehearsed and they're giving an answer or are they different kids that talk about different things. So the kid that's into dinosaurs might not be into dinosaurs when you bring them back. He might talk about crystals. Um, and that's fine. It doesn't mean that they're not on or not. It's just you, we want to know what it is. The second room is a little more intimidating. There's a table full of producers looking at one child. And the idea, and it goes all the way back to how Art told us how to do this, is you want to make sure that when they come into that room, that it is a little intimidating because they walk into a studio, it's incredibly intimidating. So they're going to come down a little bit. You don't want the kid that's kicked out of class for causing problems. You want the one that's sent outside for five minutes because they're talking too much. When people watch an episode of Kids Say the Darndest Things, I hope that they take home a lot of joy, a lot of excitement, and maybe they learn something new about how kids today think about what's going on in the world. <laughs>